it's Will Rice from PastorWill.net. I want to show you how easy it can be to optimize images for your website using a web app called Pixlr Express. Images downloaded from your smartphone, your digital camera, or even from stock photo sites are usually way too large to upload to your website. They're just usually larger than they need to be for that use. And this slows down load times on your website. Even fractions of a second in delay and download can cause someone just to click onto another site. And long load times can also penalize you and impact your search engine results. If you're a pro in Photoshop or some other image manipulation program, you may already have a workflow for this, but if not, let me show you the absolute easiest way to shrink your files and improve your load times while still having great looking images. First thing I'm going to do is go to this website, pixlr.com, P-I-X-L-R.com forward slash express. It's going to bring me here, and this is free, supported by the ads that you see over there on the right side. I'm going to find the image that I want to optimize or make smaller for my website. If I look right here, I have this uh, great image of sort of a wilderness shot with a lake there. But if I look closely, I can see that this image is 7.9 megabytes. That is way too large. We want to get our images down to around 150 kilobytes or less. I like to shoot for about 100. I'm really big on optimization. But about 150 kilobytes will get you what you need. I'm going to go ahead and click Open. Now here's this nice, beautiful image. The first thing I want to do is go down to this box, which says adjustment. And I'm going to move over to where it says resize. And if I look right there, this image is approximately 4,000 pixels wide by 2,667 pixels high. That's great. That is way too big. For most websites, you only need an image that's longest edge is about 1,500 pixels. All right, so this 4,000, I'm just going to change into 1,500. You see that automatically adjusts my height to 1,000 because I have the Keep Proportions uh, box checked right there. I'm going to click Apply. If I blow up this image now, I'm going to see that it still looks great. It's just considerably smaller. Now I'm going to make it even uh, smaller in file size by clicking Save. And I'm going to see here that I can adjust the quality of the image to get it down to where I want it. Don't worry, you've got quite a bit of room to play with here. And when I slide it down, I'll see I'm um, at 282, 211, and there I am at uh, 100 and. 53 kilobit, kilobytes, we'll uh, call that close enough. 150 uh, kilobytes, I'm gonna click save. Put that in my demo pics, and I've already saved that before, but we'll save it again, and there it is. Now if I drag over my file browser now and I look at this image, I will see that it is 153 uh, kilobytes. And if I open it up, it still looks pretty nice. When I really get in there, I can start to see some pixelization, but that's not how most people are looking at this picture on your website. If you have something that's an artistic piece or you just really need people to see all the detail, you can make it a little bit larger. But for most of the pictures on your website, this is gonna be just fine. And it is gonna make your pages load faster and give the search engines a chance to rank you higher.